everyone. Uh, thank you for joining today's uh, onboard webinar and uh, uh, special solution spotlight. The topic for today is meeting prep made easy with onboard. And the uh, my, my name is Rob Lingelbaugh. I'm a board technology consultant. And um, I will uh, be uh, working with you today, uh, sharing with you um, a number of things to, to tell you a little bit about onboard, to share with you how we're going to uh, really enhance those, those board meetings and, and the prep that you do. Uh, first and foremost, let's talk a little bit about onboard uh, for some of those of you that are on the call today that may not know who we are, or what we do, but onboard, we design digital experiences that make board meetings simple, secure, and, and effective. Those seem to be three major uh, points when it comes to talking to clients on a day-to-day -day business. Uh, you know, we, we, uh, we have things like, um, there are actually three things that really bring people from, you know, to onboard initially, or maybe from a competitor, for example. And one of those things is, is that we're just easy to use. Right. And we're constantly innovating. So if you're looking for software that's going to grow with your board on boards, on boards, the right choice for you. So um, but ease of use, we have a lot of uh, you can go out and look at G2, Captera, all of those things. It, it, it'll share with you uh, around how easy we are to use. The second piece here, uh, aside from ease of use and innovation, is, is really our customer support and service. Right. Uh, we have the 24 seven access just like everyone else. But what we do a little differently is. Um, we do have an implementation specialist that is assigned to you. And what that person does is help you. They'll set up a sales kickoff call so that you can actually, or an implementation kickoff call so that you all can set dates on uh, training for the next, you know, 30 to 45 days, for example, as, as, as you implement onboard to your organization. Um, so, they will actually, again, do the kickoff call. They'll train admins. They'll train the end users, the board members, the, the committee members that are um, uh, signed up uh, for this uh, platform. Then you also have a customer success manager. And what that person does is uh, after the fact, after the meeting is your first meeting is done, they'll, they'll want to know what went well, what didn't go so well, what were you uncomfortable with, and then get you comfortable uh, with with onboard and the platform and the and the solutions that we have for you, um, so those are three main reasons. Or the, the third reason really is security, and we'll we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later on. But um, a little bit more about onboard. These numbers are not exact, as you probably well know, but we have over five thousand board led organizations under our belt here, with twelve thousand committees, fifty five thousand meetings. 100,000 subscribers and over 50 countries, which really speaks a lot to, to not only um, onboard and, and the platform, but what our clients think of us. One of our biggest um, propensity, you know, here for purchasing is, is through referrals and, um, and our customers being references to help, um, you know, clients that are looking to do something with onboard, but would like to talk to somebody that's currently using onboard, right? Um, uh, these numbers wouldn't be possible without um, our clients that are, you know, happy and 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 um, in, involved with with onboard on a day to day basis. Um, for today, what our goals are is really kind of discuss how onboard is designed to enhance board meeting preparation. Uh, the second goal we have here is to showcase onboard's meeting prep tools. So as we as we talk through this stuff, it's uh, I'm actually going to show you a demo. It, it'll be in the um, in an environment where you can see how we set up meetings and whatnot. Uh, and the third goal that I have for today is answer any questions about how onboard transforms the meeting preparation process. Okay, so keep that in mind as we're going through uh, our, our topics for the day. Before we get started, I'd like to take a quick poll. And my first question to you is I, I just want to know who we're talking to, just get an idea. Um, I see that the uh, for example, you know, what, what best describes your role in the organization's board? Are, are you an administrator? Are you a board member? Are you a nonprofit leader? So if you could just take a moment, uh, the poll should be open for you to respond to that now. And um, again, it just helps guide the conversation a little bit and I'll know how to 
to pivot when I need to get to that point. So we'll just give a few seconds on that and see how the, all right. It looks like as far as the polls, um, so we have about 79% of you are administrators. We have 7% um, of you board members, and then 14% uh, of you uh, uh, non-profit board leader. Thank you very much. So administrators, hold on to your hats. We've got some good stuff for you today. Uh, same thing with the rest of you, but let's go to the second question here that I have for you. As far as the polling goes, what is your biggest challenge when it comes to meeting preparation? Is it time consuming materials and the creation process? Is it last minute changes? Uh, is it distributing materials in an efficient and organized manner? Is it board members coming to meetings unprepared? So we'll give you a few seconds to respond to that and we'll certainly address these, these items. Okay, and the results really come down to uh, it looks like distributing materials in an efficient and organized manner is the number one spot. Number two is time consuming material creation process. Then uh, board members coming to unprepared and last minute changes. So these are all things obviously that uh, Onboard is, is designed to do. I think that uh, when we jump into the, the live portion of this, you're going to see that uh, it will make it <laughs> We make it easy. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're an end user or an admin, we're gonna make it easy for you. So let's go to, uh, uh, let's talk about streamlining this meeting preparation. And again, the topic uh, for today. So some of the key onboard features that we have here is one centralized platform. So literally everything that you need to do with your board can be done in one system of record or one system of truth, if you will. And um, it just allows for you to work smarter, move faster and really achieve more in the time that you have uh, together. Uh, we also have industry leading security. I mentioned this earlier where we are SOC 2 type 2 certified, we're HIPAA compliant, we have all the international uh, coverage as well. But the thing that you need to know is that we are, our entire site is independently verified. Um, and uh, we, we often, you know, we talk about um, you know, we, we have not been breached, so let's knock on wood on that. That's that's something that has not happened to us. But um, the security and, and the partners we keep with that and the money and the time and, and the energy we put in that really reflects uh, back to you folks and keeping all of your sensitive information and data secure. We do partner with Microsoft Azure, just so you all know. This is something that you should probably know before we get started. Uh, Microsoft Azure, we all know, is the platinum level of cloud services, right? So we are a Microsoft suite. Um, and uh, you also get the Microsoft, you know, premium standard of, of, of security. So we've, we've got you covered in that respect. Uh, the reason why we, you know, again, cloud service, SaaS software. I Again, I've been in the SaaS business for 20 plus years. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it's, it's an incredible um industry, right? And um, security is, is always been a big uh, issue, I think, with, with when it comes to software, uh, when it comes to what we have here, since we are mobile first, right? So you can, we're on all mobile devices, we're on all devices. So if you're an iOS, so Apple, whether it's your phone or your tablet or Android or whatever desktop platform you're on, Kindle Fire, if anybody uses Kindle Fire anymore, we're, we're all there. So wherever your board members and committee members or end users will be, that's where um, you know they'll be able to access on board. The next piece here is the document storage and sharing, and that's the cloud service. So we have unlimited storage um, that sets us apart from a lot of folks in our industry because you can uh, you have unlimited uh, cloud storage. So if you have 20 years worth of board material, you can literally bring it in to onboard with a simple drag and drop and and store your materials all in one location uh, and make it searchable. Uh, user uh, permissions, this is something that uh, all of my clients ask about. Uh, they wanna know, you know, can, can I have some people as admins, reader only? Can I have them as contributors? Yes, yes, we'll talk about all of that, of course. Um, so those are some of the key features. Uh, some of the, the actual, the onboard uh, tools that we'll be talking about uh, specifically is around meeting creation. Again, this is to help you enhance the board meeting prep. So we'll show you how to 
the meeting creation piece. We'll talk about the agenda and board book builder. They're wonderful. It makes your life so much easier. Document storage and sharing. Uh, we'll also have um, the uh, uh, user permissions. We'll talk about instant messenger. Again, that's within the platform. So we're not just using Teams or whatever uh, instant messaging platform that we have that may be un inse you know, unsecure and, and when we're sharing documents and whatnot. And of course, the minutes builder, which is like, that is the one thing that my, my clients, especially on the admin side of the house, they absolutely love this. So uh, let me go ahead and stop there. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and move over into the, um, uh, the, the platform here. And what you should see here, let me give a little context to, to what you're looking at here. On the left-hand side of the screen is the purple navigation bar. So your search dashboard meetings. So it tells you where to go and what to do there. And then on the right-hand side is all the content, right? So um, I've built something out uh, here where it talks about us as the generic company and uh, upcoming meetings, actions, uh, announcements. So announcements are like a bulletin board. Okay. So anything that you as the admin want to pin up in front of your board members or committees or whatever you need, um, you can put that information front and center uh, through an announcement like this. And of course, um, what a lot of my clients do, they love to have those bylaws out in, in front of their board members uh, at the ready so that they always have access to them or maybe the code of business conduct. So Basically what you're seeing here content wise, even though you can tell this is the admin side of the house, I'm actually on my laptop. You can see configure, you can see edit, you'll see manage uh, on the end user side of the house, just so you know is, um, is, is a same look and feel, right? So you don't have two different views on an iPad versus what I'm looking at now on my desktop. Um, this is um, a it, 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 similar view. So purple navigation bar is there, content on the right now. This information here, uh, when you're looking at it from an end user or the board member point of view, uh, it's going to be relevant and specific to them because our site is permission based. So um, as you can see in the meetings, I'm on the board, I'm also on the audit committee. If I'm not on the security committee, right, IT security committee, I will not see that meeting in my upcoming meetings. Right. So it's being very specific and relevant to the end user themselves. Same thing with the actions. As you can see here, I have an electronic signature. I have two of them and I have a vote or uh, an approval I need to do on some minutes, um, uh, uh, meeting minutes here. So those are specific to me and, and actions that I need to take. So let's um, so let's go ahead and start with and how do we enhance our board meeting prep as as uh, let's talk it through as the admin side of the house. Well, first and foremost, um, meeting creation and how do we even get a meeting set up, right? And what you need to do is over here on the navigation bar, the dashboard is our landing page. The meetings basically will share with you all upcoming meetings and all past meetings, all right? So the past meetings, this one that's faded out, should have um, an agenda, it should have a board book, and it should have a meeting minutes tied to that, right, to go back and review. Um, but we're in today's board meeting here, so it's still bolded up and it looks fresh and alive because it's happening right now. If I need to, I can actually duplicate this board meeting. So once you've, once you've got a board meeting set up, you simply click the three dots over to the right and click duplicate. And what it will do, uh, and I'll share this with you, so I'll just click duplicate quickly. So instead of, so it says copy, I'm just going to put in here test so you can see the difference, right? I can come in and put in a new date. So let's say it's on the 27th. And then of course, so notice it carried over pretty much the date, uh, the times it carried over the meeting address. So I can save changes. It also carried over the board of directors, right? And then it had carried over the agenda that I had for set up for today. Right, we basically duplicated this meeting. There are no documents that have moved over with this agenda because we're, we're hoping that the meeting that we have today and the documents that we use for the board book will be a little different for the next board meeting, right? We, at least we hope to, uh, that would be the case. So that's really how you duplicate a meeting. It's, it's pretty simple. So if I go back to my meetings, we'll now see the board meeting test here, okay? 
Now, Rob, how do I start off, right? How do we, how do we start a brand new meeting? Uh, so there's a create meeting tab at the top of the page. It's as simple as clicking create meeting. Um, you'll see that it says new meeting um, uh, for webinar. Right. I mean, you can make it whatever, how, whatever you want to tile the meeting. Uh, you, you're going to put in the date that's appropriate for what you're looking. So let's go to July. Let's we'll say that it's the 25th, same time frame. You can go ahead and put in your, your address. I mean, you can see how this plays out, right? You can also set up your remote meeting as well. So what that means is you need to know that we integrate directly with both Zoom and Teams. You just need to choose what account that you're going to use. Um, now, that doesn't mean that Onboard is providing Zoom or Teams to you. It will integrate with the Zoom or Teams account that you're currently using. So in this case, I'm, I'm going to I've already I've already logged into my Zoom account. Um, so if I click on uh, this and generate the Zoom meeting, it will build the link. And so let me go back to that. So you can see that it put in a meeting link, a password, a phone number. So it's literally setting up the Zoom information from your Zoom account. So that's so now this is a, a, a hybrid or a virtual meeting potentially, right? We could put in a physical address here. If I were to invite my, uh, let's say this is for the board of directors, I can invite individually uh, if I need to. So one at a time here, or I can go and say, okay, this is a board of director meeting. Um, and, and I can show you how this looks in the directory later, but if I click on the plus and click on save changes, now it adds everybody that I've already put in to the board of directors group itself. Um, the, all seven invitees will be added to this particular uh, meeting here. So when I send out invites, right, it will go out to those seven people. As we scroll down here, the thing I like about what Onboard does is you kind of have to take it step by step here. Um, we're not ready for meeting minutes, obviously, but the agenda is where I'm getting at, right? So really you're gonna click on the edit agenda piece and the thing that I like here is that you can add section by section if you choose, right? Uh, we've got two buttons for the same, same thing. But what I like is if, if you can put into like a Word document, let me just slide this over. I have a Word document that says agenda here, folks. Um, it actually has a, a file extension of .docx, right? If, if your agenda is, is set up like this, then you can simply do what I prefer and you can import agenda. So maybe you already have a, a template set up. If not, um, there's hyperlinks that tell you uh, how to modify uh, the uh, agenda document template with your agenda information so that you can upload the file for yourself. But this is, becomes now a simple drag and drop feature. So it was just that quick. I'm gonna click add. And here's my agenda. So if I go back to that meeting for the webinar, scroll down, my agenda is attached to this. So uh, again, ease of use is really what it's all about here. So um, I'm building this meeting as we speak. And again, this is gonna, at the end of the day, I mean, enhancing, when we enhance something, right? We're trying to save time, for example, especially for the admins. Uh, they have other projects to do and whatnot. But you also have board members and other folks that that may uh, take part in some of the building of the agendas and, and taking some administrative roles. But at the end of the day, we just want to, again, help you just work smarter, move faster and achieve more in the time that you're given. So um, this call to order, for example, um, I, again, I'm going to share with you my file from my desktop here. I've got uh, call to order, consent agenda. So I have some things that Basically, as the admin, I, I would say 95% of the admin that we have uh, prefer to have control over the process. Um, and so, and, and with all you know, due respect, right, uh, they should. Um, but in this case, right, so I'm waiting on everybody to send their materials to me. I, you know, I'm gathering those materials. And once I have them, I can simply go to the appropriate line and drag and drop those items in. So a consent agenda. So what I'm doing by dragging and dropping these documents in is building uh, the board book essentially. So if I come in and do approval of, of minutes, I can drag and drop here. 
So far, you can see that these are all Word docs. But if I go to the financial report, I can actually bring in a PowerPoint. Remember, we're Microsoft uh, uh, Office here. And I can even bring in an Excel document. So that's what that's what that looks like. So essentially, uh, you can build the board book and, um, you know, when you're all set and done, um, in 29 minutes and 50, 49 seconds, it's literally going to build the book for you. Okay. Um, so you can walk away and forget about it and, and just know that the board, uh, the book is going to automatically save all the work you've already done here. Um, if you get a little anxious, you can come in here and click build uh, book now. And uh, so now what's going to happen is this uh, book is going to build and it's doing it very quickly. Now, depending on how large it is, it may take two or three minutes to do that. And, um, once it's done, it will it'll certainly um, it, it'll, it'll share with you um, when the book is done. Right. So if you what I want to do now is um, while we're waiting for this book to finish, I want to point in your direction here that the admins in this case, since there's mostly admins on this call, you actually hold the keys to the castle. You literally control any and all information going in and out of of the platform. So. What people see is what you allow them to see through the permissions. So for example, what you see here is uh, we have, it's unpublished. So you can schedule meetings. It, let's say you have a board meeting every single month. You can schedule uh, your board meetings and put it on the calendar, uh, on your calendar within the platform and leave it as unpublished. That way nobody, the board members, they can't see, see those dates or anything at all. But we do have the ability for you to go ahead and release information when you have that. So if you look at the meeting details visible, the details are really come down to the, the time, the date, the place, the webinar information. That's really what you're showing if you choose this option here. The meeting details and agenda is when you're when you're ready with the agenda and you're ready to share it with the board members. Now you can go ahead and make that option, uh, choose that option. So what they can see now. They can see everything except the the board book itself because you haven't you're not quite there yet. Maybe you're still working on the board book. You're fine tuning it. Um, now you can click on uh, agenda and board book. Each step of the way, it's going to ask you if you want to add a custom message to share with folks, and then um, you would just click on notify um, uh, to let those folks know that something new is happening. Now, when they get notified, they they get a little. Um, I'm going to click don't notify. They'll get a, a little red dot here in the notifications tab, right, on within the platform. The app on their phone or their iPad, they'll have a little red, we all know this through our texts and emails, they'll have, receive a, a red uh, notification there. And then the email address that they're set up with, they'll, they'll get an email saying that, um, you know, that we're, we've just released the agenda, the uh, details in the board book. So to go into the platform and take a look at that while they can. So right now it says all visible. Uh, so now really all the board members could literally see anything and everything that they need to see at this point. Okay. Um, so why, so we've really covered like creating a meeting. We've really covered the agenda portion of this and how to, how to build an agenda, whether you duplicate it or you create, you know, um, a scrap from scratch, or you can actually drag and drop in an agenda with a dot DOCX uh, file format. Right. So we've we've covered quite a bit here. What I will tell you is usually there's some there's some folks and it's usually from the finance side of the world, from my from what my clients tell me that th they give you some last minute changes. Right. So we've got all the board meeting information. It's two hours before the board meeting is getting ready to happen. You'd now have a new document from finance that says, OK, here here's here's some new stuff. I need to make sure this gets in the board book. So that information is brought in and you drag and drop it in here um, and the board book is finished building, right? So you can open the book. It, it's, it's real time. Like, so once the book is built, everybody will be able to see the new updated version of the actual um, board book with the new um, finance information and, and all that came along with that. If you are busy as an admin and you need um, maybe uh you need that CFO person, for example, and I don't mean to pick on, on the finance folks really, but um, you can actually go to uh, the manage invitees button here and notice it says Gilbert, Amber, Glenn, everybody's a reader except for me. I'm an admin, but let's pretend Amber is our, 
our chief financial officer and, and she's got the new information that she wants to bring into the fold here, I can now make her a contributor so that she can actually drag and drop her own document into the agenda if, if, uh, if you need that help or if you need that bandwidth, right? So we're, again, we're trying to enhance that board meeting prep by giving you options and, and giving you the help uh, needed. So you just literally click save changes and now Amber, um, so that she knows that she's been chosen as a contributor, you can go ahead and notify her. So I'm gonna click notify. And that will send her again, a notification on her app. It will send her a notification in her email that you've got her set up in the system with. So again, um, I will share with you as far as the, uh, the other permissions that are involved here, like Gilbert, we can keep him as a reader. We can actually exclude him. Maybe there's a section where you're talking about compensation for him specifically, and you don't want him to see that information. You can actually exclude him from, from information um, you can also make him admin if you wish. I would say be careful that. Um, I think contributor, I think one, maybe two people should be admins and then the others can be contributors or, or creators. So uh, let's go ahead and make him a reader here. Um, and, and so that's really what it comes down to as far as the agenda and, and, the, and the board book. So a couple things that you need to be aware of here too, to make your life a little easier, um, it, in the settings tab here, you can actually set it up so that uh, in this particular book, right, um, you can actually have the option of choosing to add um, a table of context to the board book that we just built, right? So if I, if I take this out of here and I go to the board book and I open that up, it'll literally take me to this, this page here, right? If we go and do the, oops, table of contents with the book, I, I know this is a big deal for some of the end users. They, they like to be able to have this function. So um, we'll, we'll give this a second to build here. Um, let me share with you a couple other things in the setting while it's being built. Uh, as an admin, you need to know too that um, we, we do auto pagination right now. There's no numbers. There's no page numbers or anything at the, at this time. So when you get your documents from your end users or whoever's contributing to this, they don't have to put page numbers on their, on their documents. You can literally choose bottom left, bottom center, bottom, right. So that when you drag and drop and you replace a, 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 a financial report or whatever, just know that the platform is going to auto paginate for you and, and make it right for you. Um, we also have a meeting pacer line that will help you with um, keeping on track to meetings, which I'll show you here shortly. Document downloads. Some people, uh, I have clients that don't allow their, their board members to download um, the board book or, or things of that nature. So they'd prefer them to do it all electronic and digital on the platform. Uh, this is an option you can disable uh, via the meeting or you can disable uh, for all meetings in the uh, larger settings um, that's in the navigation bar. But uh, those are some of the things I thought I'd share with you. Let me open this book so you can see that there now has been uh, a table of contents added here. So I could literally click on, so it's the same thing as the table of contents over here. Um, but, uh, you know, so while I'm, looking at the call to order, the consent to agenda or whatever here, um, I can also use the quick links here. So consent agenda, if I click consent agenda, it takes me to that, that specific page, okay? And so at, at this point, I think, I think that really covers, you know, um, the, the, the agenda, uh, the, the board book, uh, there are things we, we do allow for annotations. Uh, you know, I think you all know about annotations. You can put in squiggly lines. You can write on the, on the actual board book itself. You can add sticky notes. You can highlight. There's all kinds of stuff you can do here. But just note that um, those, those uh, annotations are only seen by the end user. So me, if I was the board member and I were to add, you know, uh, annotations here, right, uh, on this particular uh, board book, 
Um, I only I would be able to see those unless I chose to share this with with you, the admin, or with another board person, just in case I wasn't able to make make the meeting. For for example, right? We want to make sure that my well thought out commentary and questions that I put in here, um, I want somebody to keep an eye on that and cover that for me in my absence. So, just just throwing that out there as well. So, um, all right. So we've covered meeting creation. We've talked about the agenda and the board book builder. Right. Um, as far as um, as far as some other things that will make uh, enhance the, the meeting prep a little easier for you folks, um, you'll see that I don't I'm going to go back to this unpublished here. You'll see that uh, I don't have um, uh, my my platform right now, this particular demo. Uh, I don't have it linked to a calendar, but you can link this to your calendar, whatever calendar that is. Most of you are probably using Outlook. So when you, and it will seamlessly streamline, you know, how you, you send calendar invites and, and get those, um, those um, uh, the, the details, the meeting and the Zoom information and, and who's attending, who's not attending. Uh, it's all seamless and linked and you can all work it through the platform here. So we're literally on, on um, whatever email you're using, it, it's out there and, and we, can, we can certainly tie to that. So, um, so when you actually, again, send out notifications or whatever, right, um, you can set up um, your remote meetings, send out calendar invites, you can send reminders, right, and send a little um, information there uh, with your reminder to make sure that people are understanding what they're, <laughs> what they're getting. Um, but what you'll see here is you'll be able to see the attendance of who's uh, RSVP, who hasn't, and um, you can uh, RSVP meet. So you can do this through the app if you just want to say I'm attending and click I'm attending and submit, right? Um, that will also show up here. You can see now it says attending and not no response. Um, if you make changes to your to your um, uh, calendar invite uh, in any way, shape, or form, it will make those updates for you as well. So, so that I think that pretty much covers um, everything I, I think I want to cover today with the agenda and board book. Well, the, the last thing I'll share with you is if we are actually in the meeting, uh, a, a lot of my uh, admins or uh, general counsel or whoever's taking the meeting minutes, right? Um, they, they will click on the start meeting button here. And there's two options. You can start from scratch or start from a copy of the agenda. I would say best practice start from a copy of the agenda because when I click get started, now what happens here is that this header is built for you. I've done none of this. The platform builds a header for you. Uh, you you've got attendance where you can take real time attendance. So they're present and in person, they're remote, and they're not there. Maybe you have a guest speaker that you wanna add here. You can certainly add a guest speaker, but as you're going through the meeting, you'll see here's the agenda, here's the, the appropriate document that's tied to that particular line item. And uh, so let's say, um, you know, uh, let's say that I need to stay, start taking my copious notes now. If you hit this plus sign, you're gonna see a number of options down here. So you can add a note, which is where you would add your copious notes here. So uh, here, I'll just click on it so you can see it. It's pretty simple. Just type away, right? Okay, excellent. The um, uh, and sometimes, you know, at this point, we may have uh, somebody that actually says, hey, I move that we take a look at uh, board software to make our lives a little easier, whatever it is. Right. You can add the motion, the mover, the seconder and, and um, what was the result of that conversation? Just note that on the movers, these are type ahead. So it's going to save keystrokes uh, for you folks. Um, so you can move second you could do that. And then typically from a motion, what I'm finding out is that uh, th that usually there's going to be a task that's added to somebody. So this is all, again, trying to streamline and enhance that that board, board meeting, you know, prep, if you will. But um, so the task is to go review on board, um, learn more about the platform. You can put in an assignee. Again, it's a type ahead, a due date and a description. So that when it's all said and done, you know, uh, now. When I, when I step out of here, this person will be sent a note, a notification that they've got a task assigned to them. The other things that are here are things like you can add another topic on the fly, uh, maybe an admin only note, um, 
add meeting headers, you can add uh, attendance. So if you if your meetings are going to be four or five hours long and you take a, a, a break in between and you want to retake that attendance, you can certainly do that uh, as you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish editing for now because I, I'm, you know, we're done with the meeting. I go home the next day. Uh, I come back in the morning and now I want to go ahead and come back to those meeting minutes. Um, notice we now have options here. So now I can edit those minutes to make sure everything looks clean and wonderful. I can send it for review or maybe even create an approval. Some, some of my boards, they have to approve meeting minutes. So you can send that for an approval with a signature. Otherwise you can add it to your resources section over here to the left. But once you finalize the minutes, right. Um, everything looks clean. Uh, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're not looking at Klingon, you know, language there. Uh, notice that again, the admins are in control here. Uh, once, once it's clean, now you can switch it up so that all meeting invitees can now see the meeting minutes, okay? Um, so again, we want to make sure that, that everything looks professional, it's clean, and, and it's easy for everybody to access and to know. Okay, so meeting creation, agenda, board book, we've covered it. Meeting minutes, a uh, couple more things that we need to talk about. Document storage, and um, we need to talk, and we've been talking about user permissions. So I think we've got that that covered. I will tell you that you can even do the, um, you can even do within like a line item, like the consent agenda, you can literally permission this particular section. So if I didn't want Gilbert to see this particular section, I can exclude him from that particular section, right? So everything, whether it's agenda line item based or even in the resources, let me go over here to the resources now. So this is where you can set up your folder view. Some of you, a lot of you, if you don't use something today, you probably already have something up on your desktop with all the folders and the files that you've saved over the years. Um, you can literally mirror that here on the platform and you can um, save, save documents within a folder, right? These happen to all be PDFs. Um, that you can save uh, folders. I'm trying to find one quickly that has a, but you can save folders within folders, just like you do on, on your desktop. And um, even at the folder level, you can, you can per edit permissions or even let's go to like, um, let's go to our charters here. If I, if I want to, I can literally say I can edit permissions here. So maybe, maybe I don't want Gil Gilbert to see this one thing, right? So I'm going to exclude Gilbert from seeing that one document, right? So at the document level, so a little, little granule, but um, again, it's all meant to, to help you in your meeting prep and how you, how you move forward. Um, again, the document storage in the resources section here, it, it's unlimited storage. So you can, you can go crazy with that if you want. Uh, we have some boards that have 20 years worth of materials and they literally can drag and drop it over once they've got their file system set up. Um, the other thing I thought I'd share with you too is the uh, messenger. So instead of using, you know, some kind of a text or, you know, messenger service, um, you can come in here and know that it's within the platform. So it's that added security. Um, even if you send a file to somebody, you know, it's going to be somebody within the board or the committees that you work within and you're not accidentally letting uh, sensitive data slide. So uh, I've got a couple here uh, that I put in. So Gilbert, I can send it as an individual basis, or I can send it as uh, the finance and audit committee. So as a group. So when I compose, um, again, I can send it to an individual or individuals, or let's say that we're in this board meeting. Now I can start um, a conversation with the entire group and this should look familiar. Um, someone share with me uh, more details on right? And then you submit. So now, even if you're in the meeting, right? Um, or you're outside of the meeting, maybe you're not, maybe we're not in the board meeting now, and you just want to send something to the board and get their take on something. You've got this means of communication. 